I'm Mr. Red. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Red. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Red. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh full of hay. <laughs> I love Christmas. Wilbur is so full of the spirit of giving, and I am so full of the spirit of receiving. <laughs> Check the halls with boughs of holly. Tra la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra la 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 la. la, 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 la. <laughs> hey, we make a pretty good trio. Yeah, good trio. Yeah, between us we got six legs. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hold it, Wilbur. What? Yeah. <laughs> what are you kissing me for? You're standing under the mistletoe. <laughs> so I am. You want to have me tell you the real story of Christmas? No. But don't you want to hear? If it wasn't for a horse, nobody would be getting Christmas gifts. I haven't got time now. What's this? Attention, Wilbur Pult Ed's Christmas shopping list. Yeah, there are just a few things I'd like to give the horses at the stable. You expect me to buy gifts for 12 horses? Seven. The, the, the last five for me. Oh. <laughs> Nobody buys Christmas gifts for horses? Which is why in stalls all over the world you'll find tear-stained hay on Christmas Day. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, Ed, but see, I'm meeting Gordon. We're going to do our Christmas shopping. I'm buying something for Carol. See you later, fella. 